Hello friends, and welcome to another session. Today I'm going to share with you the humming bee breath, which is, in my opinion, one of the best techniques for settling the mind of thoughts. And it's especially good if you're up at night and you have a bit of insomnia and you can't turn off your mind to do this technique for about five or 10 minutes and it will really settle your thinking. It's also really good against migraines and smaller headaches. Quick word of caution though, if you have an, e an ear infection, any kind of bad ear infection, it is not advised to practice this. But for everyone else, it's completely safe. I invite you to take your seat. You should also only practice this in a seated position, never lying down. So find your seat. Get comfortable, spine nice and tall. Sit bones grounded down into the mat. Close your eyes, spend a few moments arriving. Double checking your internal support structure is nice and steady, that upside down T shape. And everything else nice and relaxed, shoulders relaxed, legs relaxed, face smooth forehead smooth. Now let's check in with our breathing. But I'd like you to visualize breathing in through your forehead. Breathe in and out through your forehead. And just become aware of the sensations around your head and your face. From the top of the head, all the way down the back of the head. Encompassing your whole head. Just breathing for another few moments. In and out through the forehead. Okay, very good. Please open your eyes. I'm gonna show you how to do this technique. You're gonna look a little bit silly, but who cares? You're at home by yourself or with your family or partner. We'll need both hands. The thumbs of both hands are gonna go into your ears so that you're gonna block out sound. Obviously wait because you're not gonna be able to hear my explanation. So the thumbs will block out the sounds the four fingers or index finger what you're going to try to do is find the spot on your on your upper orbital bone near to your nose there is a small indentation in the bone it's about here where i'm pointing right now it might take you a few moments to find it if you don't find it now that's fine but if you find it uh there's this indentation on the orbital bone and with these two fingers you're going to apply gentle pressure to that spot and you can gradually increase the pressure it's extremely calming the middle finger you can kind of just rest on the nose like here the ring finger you'll press on your upper lip right below the nostrils and your pinky finger you can kind of just rest you're not doing much with that and when we've got that position what we'll do is we'll take a deep inhalation and then when we exhale, we'll do an ohm sound, but with our mouth closed, so it's a humming sound. It'll sound like this. Mm -hmm. 
draw out the breath. So let's begin. We'll set up our fingers and then hopefully you can still hear me. But once your fingers are set up, you'll do a deep inhalation and then hmm, exhalation and we'll do that 10 times. And when you finish your 10 times, just keep your eyes closed, unplug your ears and, and come back to seated position. All right, let's do it. Thumbs in the ears, index fingers in the spot, ring finger under the nose, and let's go deeply in. Mm. your eyes closed, rest your arms and relax. Feel the lingering vibration you created. Focus again on your head. Mm. 
and imagine you are headless. Imagine for a few moments that your body stops at the neck and your brain is in your heart. Feel as if that were true. You have no head at all. Focus on your heart center. Breathing in and out through the heart. Come back, open your eyes. That was a little taste of the headless way meditation technique. If you're interested, there's a great app called the Waking Up app with Sam Harris, where they go through the headless way in detail, but that's essentially it. Just imagining you've got no head and pretending the heart is the highest center. And that's the humming bee breath for you. I hope you enjoyed that. It really helps with insomnia and like I said, with headaches. So thank you for being with me again. I really appreciate your time and attention and I will see you here very soon. Take care.